Um, and this video is just for you, so feel free to ask questions as we go throughout. Okay. Um, thank you so much for the session, Karen. I uh, wanted to summarize some of the things that we talked about today throughout, because um, I think those are nice takeaways for you. I um, want to talk first about the work that we did um, here on the mat with our irons, because I think that was actually very successful. So um, we had our one stick here, and I used the sticks and the visualization of them to kind of describe the laws of the ball, meaning like what, what are the things that help determine where that ball flies. And when we took a look at your video, we use this as our target line, we definitely discovered that your irons particularly were coming too far this way, right? So the club was coming too far out this way. Um, and throughout the process of that pulling, the face would tend to get a little bit open, which is why you said my alignment feels strained, because you had to aim further left, knowing that the ball, even on your good shots that would fade a little bit, would fall a little bit to the right, okay? So what we did is we tried to encourage you to feel like if we have a ball here, that the path of the club would come more from the inside and then allow you to kind of turn on through. And I thought you had some very nice, good, solid seven irons that were in that correct kind of shape and direction. Um, and continuing to work in that way so that we don't pull quite so hard from here. We feel like the club falls a little bit further in line with us here. And then we turn on through to the finish um, is what ultimately I think that should look like. We also changed your setup as we talked about, right? So rather than sitting quite so far in your heels, um, I know er very early on you said, I actually like my driver more than I like my irons. The reason for that is this setup where our heels are sitting back this way is in some ways more aligned for a driver. Um, and the reason for that is it really sets you up sitting behind. You were doing for yourself some of the things we try to work on here, which is find a way for that club to come a little bit more from the inside, a little bit more sweeping from in to out and allow you to hit that ball on the upswing. Um, we tried to adjust that alignment for you with your seven iron. And unfortunately, when we got to the driver, it looked like you weren't able to manage the amount of effort that you had to do from this sort of setup to allow that clip to fall in behind you and then turn on through from there. So towards the end of our session, we encourage you with your driver, meaning when the ball's up on a tee, to get into this more heels back situation because that looked like it made it a little bit easier for you to turn kind of up and through that ball. So the ball flight laws are kind of the same. The way that we, um, engage those the way that we um, have those uh, strike the ball is what was just a little bit different. So hopefully that makes sense to you. I will, oh, <laughs> we're losing my, uh, my stick here. It's so wet, unfortunately, it's not staying in the ground very well. Um, so I'll just finish off, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just finish off by saying, I would encourage you to do something like this. You don't certainly need to um, put all those sticks down all the time, but particularly with your irons, I want you really to feel like that club will fall in behind you more than what you'd been doing. You'd really been kind of pulling in transition. The club is in a beautiful spot back here, but then you pull it a little bit out of alignment in that downswing by yanking with those hands. So thank okay. you so much for the session. Hopefully that thank makes you. sense. Thank you.